Kermit the Frog has been in the public eye for over a half a century and has become a pop culture icon in the same vein as Mickey Mouse, a character that represents an entire company. Like Mickey's famous ears, Kermit's signature green-on-green collar is a symbol for a brand of entertainment that would change pop culture when Jim Henson introduced the world to his Muppet characters. In fact, like how Walt was so attached to Mickey, even voicing the early Mickey cartoons, Jim Henson saw a bit of himself in his most famous character. But Henson wouldn't be the only person to play Kermit. In fact, there have now been three people to mainly play Kermit the Frog, and in some way, leading the Muppets, each in a distinctly different way. Kermit the Frog made his debut in 1955 on Washington, D.C. local TV show Sam and Friends, a show Jim Henson created himself at the age of 19 along with his future wife Jane. Kermit would continue to make appearances here and there, but would really become the frog all of America would know with the debut of Sesame Street in 1969. And according to Jim's son, Brian Henson, Kermit was an extension of his father, claiming Kermit was coming out of his own personality. There was a wry intelligence, a little bit of naughtiness, but Kermit always loved everyone around, and also loved a good prank. Jim Henson would take Kermit to new heights in the 1970s with the debut of The Muppet Show. Between The Muppet Show's debut in 1976 and the death of Jim Henson in 1990, Kermit not only became the leader of The Muppets, but also the symbol for everything Henson was doing. Kermit, like Jim Henson, went from nothing to one of the 20th century's most popular figures in entertainment. Henson's version of Kermit was always charming and loving, whether it was a segment of Sesame Street, or in one of the Muppet films, or during an interview on television. Kermit was excitable, optimistic, and assertive. Growing up on the Muppets, I fell in love with Kermit's enthusiasm for life. Henson's performance of this character and the leadership behind the scenes were very similar. Henson was assertive and optimistic on many of his projects, and Jim Henson would continue to push the boundaries in puppeteering, creating new characters, shows, and films all the way up until his death. After Henson's death in 1990, fellow Muppeteer Steve Whitmire took over the role. Whitmire had started with the Henson Company in 1978, even originating the character of Rizzo the Rat, but took over the role of Kermit after being asked to by Jim's son Brian and his daughter Jane. Whitmire's version of Kermit is similar in voice, but differs slightly in personality. Kermit's still charming, of course, but Kermit became more passive and less assertive. Whitmire was never in control of any of Henson's properties, but was just another performer on the cast. And that's kind of what Kermit became. Although Kermit was still the symbol and usual lead character for many of the Henson Company projects, Kermit went from being a true leader to being just another part of an ensemble. When Jim played Kermit, he would sometimes lose his temper go a little crazy, become just as goofy as some of the more weird characters, but Whitmire's version was much more reserved and safe. Whether this was the intent of Whitmire or not is unclear, but he did allow himself to become wrapped up in the Kermit character, creating a mess for the Henson family and eventually for the Walt Disney Company when they acquired the Muppets in the early 2000s. It's been stated that Whitmire saw himself as important to the role of the character, not allowing an understudy to learn from him, and that he would go against directives from what Disney wanted for the character, believing he had the right intention. But he would eventually be ousted from playing the Kermit character in 2016. During Whitmire's run as Kermit, it's safe to say that the Muppets lost their way. Failing to connect with a newer audience and take the entertainment world by storm, outside of the Jason Segel-driven 2011 film simply titled The Muppets. Whitmire's battles with the Henson Company and Disney continue to go on with union battles and rights, but Whitmire's firing wasn't the end for Kermit the Frog. Matt Vogel made his debut as Kermit in a YouTube video, Muppet Thought of the Day, in August of 2017, becoming the third major puppeteer to play Kermit the Frog. Vogel, a fan of Sesame Street and The Muppet Show growing up, joined the Jim Henson Company in the 1990s. 
He took over the role of Big Bird, Sesame Street's symbolic character, in 1998, and would become a director and puppeteering captain for Sesame Street in 2008. He's also performed many other Muppet characters over the years, but we've only seen him perform as Kermit since 2017 in a few appearances. Vogel's natural leadership could be good for the character, however, and in recent performances, Vogel has put his own spin on the voice of the character, while still maintaining some of Kermit's popular mannerisms. And we can only speculate on the future of the frog and the rest of the Muppets, but here's hoping that Vogel and Kermit take the reins We can bring the Muppets back to prominence in the 21st century. So who's your favorite Muppet? And what characters would you like to see me tackle in the next Muppetology video in the series? Leave a comment below as I'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. And be sure to check out all of my other Muppet videos in the playlist. Until next time, my name's Josh Taylor. Thanks for watching and keep on moving, people.